Hi everyone and welcome to the French Watch Collector. Today I'm going to do a review of my watch collection, so that's a, a special video that I didn't do for a while. So we're gonna start with um, a sample model, a sample Omega, but a, a beautiful one you see in a, a three-hand watch from Omega, which is a Ref 2686 uh, from 1952 with uh, manual caliber 283. Loves the beautiful dial, so clean with the hand and the blue second. Very nice and as well with a nice diameter of 35, which is quite a big diameter as well for vintage watch. I really like this one. One of my favorite brand, actually a, a vintage brand, which is Movado with this beautiful Celestograph um, uh, number and, and watch with uh, a 473 calibers. You see you have a day date, uh, the month and the moon face. So that's why it's called the, the Celestograph. Uh, like I said, this one is a very complex watch and actually you can see the restoration on, uh, on my channel in one of my videos. I will put the link in the description. And you see you have uh, some pusher to adjust uh, some of the of the dates of the watch. You can see that you have the date there. You can adjust the months, the moon phase and, uh, and the day you need to turn the crown to adjust this beautiful uh, dress watch uh, from another era if you want. The next one is uh, Jeja Le Coutre, a military watch or inspired, I'm not sure, but it looks like a military watch and I, that's why I put it as well on this uh, bun strap. You see simple watch, beautiful patina, beautiful indexes uh, on the dial. Again, with uh, manual caliber from Jeja, a 469, a 469, sorry, caliber, which is, and I really love the number, the hand, the blue hand, uh, so beautiful, so simple, but again, uh, yeah, that's a sheer beauty. Another Gégé Le Coutre, and this is actually my, my summer watch. Uh, I love the dial of this watch, like the yellow, like kind of patina, and with obviously this yellow strap, it makes it a very summery watch. Uh, even if you see like some loom is uh, off, like I didn't want to restore it, I wanted to leave it as original. This one has a, a sub cut compared to the previous one, so it's a calibre 469. Uh, but yeah, love the numbers like the old one, but yeah, the patina on this dial is so unique and so beautiful, give a lot of character to this one. Okay, so now we're moving actually to a French watch, a Yema, uh, a Yema chronograph big eye, uh, in reference to, the, you see like the, the sub counter on the right, which is a, a bit bigger. So this is with um, a, a Valjou caliber inside, a 733. You can see there with the chronograph starting with the beautiful second uh, orange second end in the middle. So you have the, the chronograph function. I put it on this nice strap because to have a, like a bit of a sporty feel. Uh, this is a design icon I found for, from Yema and it's a beautiful watch that they are redoing recently as well inspired from these uh, vintage watches. Such a nice and you know my love as well. I really like chronograph and this is a very iconic French chronograph so I had to have it in my collection. Now we are moving to another very iconic chronograph. This one from Omega, one of my favorite brands, which is an Omega Speedmaster Mark II um, that I restore as well on the channel. So if you want to see the restoration, I will put a link down below. You can see the hand are not perfect, but this is that's the story if you want from this watch and from the restoration I have done. Uh, obviously, um, this watch is coming with uh, the Calibre 861, which is an iconic caliber from Omega for, for the chronograph. Um, I have a Mark III as well, but it is still under restoration, so I did not put it in this video. But yeah, if you like chronograph, if you like Omega, you have to have a Mark II and a Mark III in your collection. They are two very iconic uh, chronograph watch from Omega. The next one, we're moving to Japan with a Psycho. Uh, with uh, Psycho 6138-0030 uh, or sometimes called the Kakume uh, version actually of, of this Psycho. So you see you have a chronograph, you have a day and a date, so quite a lot of function on the, on the watch. And uh, actually this is one, or it's not a 6139, which I have one as well under restoration. It's a 6138, so come a bit later, but one of the first uh, automatic chronograph movement uh, from Japan, from Psycho and from all the watches. I really love the blue dial. I really love this design with the square uh, sub, uh, sub counter. Beautiful watch that I want to keep in my collection. Okay, so next, again, moving to Omega. Obviously, Seamaster is a huge range and a very famous range from Omega. And this one is particular being a calendar version um, with, uh, with, you see the dates on the, on the right side, you see with the Omega crown. Um, so yeah, this is fully original, which is a 2849 reference with a 503 caliber inside, which is again 
a 500 series caliber from Omega, which are great caliber, and this one is uh, automatic as well uh, as it is written on the, on the dial there. Beautiful watch with the patina. And now moving to the more modern watches of my collection. First, starting probably with one of my first watch, which is a Grand Seiko Skyflake. I love Grand Seiko, like the design of the watch and especially the dial is so, so beautiful. And this one is very unique as well um, with the movement inside, with the spring drive movement. We, you see the sub second, the second that will move, you can see the beautiful decorated movement inside. And look of smooth is a second moving, beautiful watch, beautiful dial. That's um, what you call a dress watch for me. It's like so nice, so nice. And I, I love Seiko, a Grand Seiko, and you have to have a Grand Seiko in your collection. Next, we are moving to from uh, Spring Drive, which is, of course, if you want to, a quartz watch, which is a brew watch that I actually bought not a long time ago. I found this watch very funky very nice i love the color and it's a chronograph as well so i just bought it for fun obviously um i like to have some quartz watches in my collection because yeah the time stay all the time it's very easy to wear they are like less um, less exp expensive if you want uh, and all the quartz watch i have two moons watch the very uh, famous so you see the earth one and the mars one the earth one i put it on a rubber strap and what I love about this watch actually is when you start the chronograph and when you reset, I love the way the hands are coming back to zero. And you see the beautiful dial of the Mars, like uh, that's some unique piece. Moving to probably my most favorite brand from like my modern watches, which is Tudor, and probably my favorite watch right now in my collection, which is this Tudor Black Bay 58 Bronze Edition uh, that you can only get in boutiques. You see, I, I wear this watch a lot with the adjustable strap, which is a nice feature. Like you see the patina on the bronze. So nice. Look at this brown dial. I love the numbers on the dial. It's my favorite, my favorite watch. Another Tudor. Uh, the ceramic one which is obviously that's a standard black base not a 39 millimeter so a tiny bit bigger um but now it's on a, on a nato strap not on a, on a leather strap and this is as well is uh, such a nice watch fully ceramic uh so like scratch resistant if you want the the movement inside you cannot see it with the nato but it's so beautiful and uh yeah this if you, if you want a watch that's fly under the radar being fully black uh, this is a, a, a perfect watch and uh, one I will keep in my collection forever. Okay, another Tudor and uh, a, a new one, which is the Tudor Black Bay Pro. This is my GMT watch, my modern GMT watch. I love the look of this watch. I love the feel as well. A lot of people complain about the thickness, but this is not a problem at all, actually. And um, the, the watch is quite heavy. It has a, a feel when you wear it on a wrist, you can see. So you can adjust the hour hand there. You have a, a quick set function if you want for the for the GMT function. Um, beautiful, beautiful watch. I love the dial. I love the bezel around, which is and you see the height. Yeah, it looks quite high, but actually when you put it on the, on your wrist, it's not at all. And you have as well the clasp, which has an adjustment, which is actually very very nice and very practical, especially in the summer days. So yeah, this is again a, a watch that I will keep forever um, and uh, yeah, which is very practical obviously when you travel, that's the main uh, point of having a GMT uh, complication on your watch. Okay, so next, which this is my last Tudor and actually was one as well, one of my first watch, which is a very classic Tudor Black Bay 58 on, uh, on a laser strap. Yeah, this is again one of my favorite watch uh so nice so so elegant and with this vintage feel that you have on a watch you have to have a black bay 58 in your collection um it's uh, it's, it's a great watch with, that will fit with a lot of uh, a lot of clothes a lot of uh, events so a, a nice watch and if you like chronograph or you see the icon like the moon watch the not the moon's watch like i just uh, showed you before but the moon watch so this is the latest model from omega the latest the latest moon watch great caliber you see inside beautifully decorated and obviously this is this is an icon from 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 omega and from the watch watch so you have to have an omega spin master moon watch in your collection i think and this is the one i have right now maybe i will get other one but this is a standard one and i love this watch Okay, so now we're going back to vintage, probably 
probably not my favorite but i will say you will see my favorite chronograph later vintage chronograph this one is my second and this is one that i restored as well on the channel and that was quite a hell of a restoration if you want to look at the video but a beautiful jaeger chronograph uh with uh, universal genève 285 caliber inside uh, great patina on the dial beautiful blue hand and look at this beauty i really i really 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 like but you will see what will be my number one chronograph a bit later on um, but this one is a, a very close second uh, second chronograph okay another design icon that uh, i think you have to have in your collection if you like omega and vintage rushes it's a very unique design omega dynamic so i have this uh, this uh, this one which is a uh, 166.039 with uh, 613 caliber inside you see with the, the bracelet very unique shape i love the blue hand this one is um, with a date and i have one which is right now in restoration with a date date so we see if i keep both but i think like this is a, a, a very uh, like a huge design icon and you have to have one in your collection and i will keep one omega dynamic as all time in my collection i have as well this omega c master uh, why I have this one is because this dial I, is very unique. It's a linen dial. You see actually the texture on the dial and you see this end as well, like a beautiful patina on the hand. And this, this is why I like this, uh, this watch and why I keep it in my collection, which is a Ref uh, 14389 with the caliber 268 inside manual, manual one caliber. You see you will have the original crown, the original case back and this beautiful linen dial uh which yeah it give a lot of texture and a very different look to your watch to the watch and this is why i keep it in uh, in my collection next we have another icon from omega a lot of omega like i said it's one of my favorite brand which is omega chrono stop uh with the caliber 865 and you see you have a, a chrono but you just a second hand and actually just one pusher you can start and stop it and reset it at the time so yeah the, the utility for for like for this type of watch is yeah pretty pretty strange but actually i really like the look with this second hand um, again it's a, it's a design icon it's a very iconic model from omega so this is why i, I decided to restore this watch and to uh, add one to my collection okay so now we are moving to something a bit uh, simpler if you want like another dress watch full gold uh, Gégère Le Coutre with a uh, uh, caliber 478 and actually I bought this one at auction and it was written as gold plated and when I got it I had a surprise that it was a full gold watch so that was a pretty lucky uh, look by but look at this beautiful second hand and, uh, and gold ends from the hour and minute so yeah that's a, a vintage uh, dress watch that I want to keep for, for some special occasion again another very special dress watch which is this one is an Omega uh, but an automatic compare is very similar to the one we saw before but it's a, a very um, very old uh, uh, vintage omega with probably one of the first automatic movement inside and i love the de love the design you, you see the track inside from the from the from the second with the gold and blue hand and this is the one this is my favorite chronograph vintage chronograph which is a movado data cran actually i could not see a lot of you see uh, a lot of data chrome which is a, a very uh, special or early early model from uh, from movado and this one is equipped with the very famous zenith el primero inside so that's why i added this watch to my collection and i love the dial with this blue uh, this black sorry sub counter you give a, and with the gold it's beautiful watch and obviously with a, a vintage zenith el primero inside this one will stay in my collection forever yeah this is my favorite vintage chronograph so far Next, we have a, a very uh, special uh, design as well. You see like a kind of a square watch from, uh, from uh, Omega. Um, so yeah, this is, I, I, I love this watch for, for, for the design um, with the caliber as well inside, which is a, a 1007, so automatic caliber. But I love the size of the, of the case. So this, and uh, with the leather strap, which is integrated in the case. So that's why I keep this constellation model in, uh, in my collection. This is one of the latest uh, to, the, to the collection, which is uh, um, uh, Le Coutre, but it's made by Gégère Le Coutre uh, with a power reserve, you see on the top on the indicator, uh, with uh, gold, uh, gold rolled plating on, uh, on the case and on the case back. So this is a watch that I restore on my channel. You can have a look 
it's a recent video on my channel i will put the link down below and something that i will keep in my on uh, on my collection for a long time and this one as well which is a psycho uh, monaco uh, 7016 which is a flyback chronograph look when i press the reset flyback and it starts straight away so this is a flyback function from a chronograph this is the only flyback chronograph that i have in my collection and this is a very special psycho movement so this is why i wanted to add this one to the collection being a lover of psycho being a lover of chronograph so this one will stay in my collection as well forever so i hope you like the video i will keep you posted there are many many watches uh, will come uh, shortly new ones and obviously vintage one so i see you next time for my next update on my collection bye bye